is officially moving day. So I am so happy right now. Definitely stressed a little bit, <laughs> won't lie. Finals going on and everything, y'all. I'm still, like I have three finals left to complete. Ooh, let's not even talk about that. But my room, I mean my house, is getting moved right now. The movers just got here. I think they're moving my sister's house first, which you know, that's cool or whatever. Right now I am walking around trying to just pick up stuff that the movers are not moving, like random stuff. The movers aren't moving everything and we do have the weekend to move. We don't have to give our keys back till Sunday and it's Friday. So yeah, this is just kind of what it's looking like. I'm trying to make it, you know, as easy and straightforward for the movers to move stuff as possible. So yeah, I'm getting hungry. My mom got me Chick-fil-A, but I haven't eaten it because it's at my sister's house. So I might have to take a little break. Go give me that Chick-fil-A. <sighs> I'm hungry, I'm tired, I'm like taking deep breaths already. Like, I'm so excited you guys get to see the new apartment today and I get to start living there today. Um, but yeah, real quick, I'm gonna get my Chick fil A because who? Also, y'all, the garage is full of my stuff. All of this literally has to be moved, and I don't know where all this is gonna go. Having a garage, like I have so much stuff that I can't take with me to the other apartment. And that's not even close to being sorted out and like gone through. So uh, yeah, I'm in for a lot of work. But they are over there right now at my sister's house starting to move right now. All right, y'all, we gotta go pick up our keys because they are moving pretty quick on my sister's place and they'll probably be done before we know it. So we gotta get our keys for our next place. This is the honestly the best part and kind of the most exciting part is getting the keys. So I got my key. But now that I think about it, where's my other house key? My sister's house isn't even done yet, so. I'm gonna get back to work. This is honestly the boring part, but it's also kind of the easy part because once we get there and they bring everything up, we gonna have to unpack and uh, yeah. Y'all look how empty it is. Yucky. It's think of here. All right, you guys, look how empty my house is is well over here we still got a lot of work to do but as far as the big furniture and everything all gone bedroom cleared closet i told y'all the closet is a big big one but thank god we got the whole weekend to move because who's gonna do all this y'all people really move their whole lives in one day get their keys up move all their furniture boom in one day no not me i'm gonna grab the chair oh. i'm sorry you was recording us, hey. Oh, you want to get my phone? What's up? You want to get my phone? Hey. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh -oh. yeah. All right, y'all. My house is packed like I showed you guys. And we are all, us in the truck. We are all driving to the new place. I'm very excited, but also had to focus on driving. But I just wanted to update you guys. Because, yeah, it's time for the fun stuff moving everything to the new crib and unpacking. To be honest, this whole process is kind of not fun, but gotta do what we gotta do, okay. All right, so we're here. I'm about to do the empty house tour so you guys can see. I'm so excited. Let's go inside. Okay guys, we're officially in my own new apartment. Honestly, I'm so excited. It definitely feels fun and exciting, but a lot less like anxiety because when I first moved out my house for the first time, Watching this video back when I first moved out alone at 19 is a crazy feeling because during this time, my emotions were just a roller coaster. It was very bittersweet. I was kind of dreading and grieving leaving my house and leaving my parents and leaving the safety and comfort of what I'd known for years. But it was a new journey for me and I was figuring out what it was like to navigate life alone as a teenager at that. No one's talking about that because I was like five. Anyway, what helped the most with this whole transition is the fact that my sister moved with me at the same exact time into the same apartment complex. Also, you guys know I could not do this without you guys. So thank you so much to everyone who's ever liked a video, commented on a post, and of course, all my subscribers. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for making this possible. Um, Yeah. That was a lot, but right now I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling happy, so let's get right into this tour. There's this hallway and it's just a bunch of storage closets. We got hella storage in this new apartment. I 
another closet over here we have my washer and my dryer this is actually the master bedroom of the unit except i'm going to be using this as like my beauty room slash hobby room slash craft room slash everything room so this is that this is also going to be like my office space because this is the master bedroom this is the master bathroom i'll still use this as the master bathroom i just won't sleep across the street but i'll be so <laughs> i just pushed it it's definitely a pool this is my stand up shower Okay. Oh. We have this giant mirror and two sinks and two cabinets, period. And then right here is the closet for this bedroom. Y'all, the closets here are so much bigger than my last apartment. I have so much more storage and places to put all my crap and all my junk because I have a lot of junk and crap. This is technically the guest room, but look at these windows, girl. I will be using this for my master bedroom. And look at the size this closet hello hello this closet is so freaking huge i knew i had to use this as my master bedroom because i have a lot of clothes girl oh i thought somebody was in there so then we have my second bathroom we have a tub in here and a sink and mirror and everything so honestly i'll probably be using this bathroom more just because it's right across the street from what's going to be my bedroom and a bathroom is a bathroom now it's time to show you guys the best part which is definitely the kitchen and the living room i'll just let you guys see So that's kind of the empty apartment tour. Right now everyone is like, not everyone, the movers are bringing all our stuff in. I am so freaking happy that we have movers, y'all. Last time, everyone was stressed. Everyone was breaking their back, trying to get stuff up, but never again. Now we're kind of on chill, easy mode until they're done. Then we have to like really unpack and stuff, but we chilling now, so. Alright guys, my mom is here. She's outside. I'm about to head down. I'm all ready to go. I'm trying to make sure I have everything before I leave because once I go down, like it's so far to come all the way back up here. So here we go. Kids meal with double fries and a Coke light ice. Y'all, I got this strawberry, medium strawberry banana smoothie. We're about to see if it's good. I never had a McDonald's smoothie, but it looked good on the screen. It's good, it's very sweet. We are at the old apartment complex to finish clearing out the house because we have to like actually clean it too and stuff, so. Yeah, we're just trying to get done. It's a lot. Hey guys, so it is literally Monday, November 20th. And I look so, like, just like a bum. Let me put on my hoodie because I really look like ball headed already, so. I know the last clip I think I said I was going back to the old apartment to do some more work. Yeah, didn't film anything because all we were doing was working and still transferring stuff and all that. So now the very last thing we have to do is go and get the junk out of the garage. Well, we called people like junk people, to, not junk people. We called some people that pick up junk called We Chunk Junk and they're gonna come pick up all the junk out the garage and then we just have to turn in our keys and we're good to go, so yeah. We're about to go do all this and then we're done. We don't ever have to go back there again. We're officially moved and we can actually start unpacking and stuff. So yeah, this is my very last time. We're gonna see my last apartment before saying goodbye forever. All right, guys, we're gonna check our mail for the very last time because first of all, we barely checked our mail while we lived here. So it's probably full. So. You checked your wow. I always have to try and remember my mailbox because I like, literally probably only checked like three times. Uh, 
uh, bro, so my sister just asked me if I had my garage key, and I was like, I in fact, do not. It's in my car. So, and I also forgot our key to get in, like, this little gate key. So, uh, we have to go back to the other apartment, grab that, then we could really be serious. But I also got a PR package, so. Retinol reface skin resurfacer, vitamin C brightening drop. In these laboratories, period. All right, you guys, look at my garage. It's finally empty. It took so long to get to this point, y'all. But here we go. The last look at my very first apartment. Y'all, I was 19 when I moved here. Y'all remember, I'm 20 now. And here she is. This is her, cutie patootie. My bathroom. My bedroom is all empty, bro. Here she is. This was my view that I could never show you guys. Then we got my closet. And I could also never show you guys this before moving out, but my sister used to live right there in that one. Right across the street, you're right there. We're leaving now, we're moving. And before you guys ask like why I'm moving and I've only been here for a year and didn't you just move and I thought you just moved in, blah, blah, blah. I have been here for a year, my lease is up. So instead of renewing my lease, I decided to re-sign a new lease somewhere else in a new location, so period. The place is empty. I had so many good memories here. I remember moving in here for the first time. But now it's on to better and bigger things, period. So bye-bye to Lexi's first apartment. Oh my gosh, that's it. Man, you treated me very good and I will love you forever. Gotta take my mop, LOL. Thank you.